Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rosie Henshaw. If you're new here, then welcome. It's lovely to meet you. And if you're already existing, guys, then thank you so much for coming back. Um, so grab yourselves a nice cup of tea and some snacks or a coffee if you drink coffee. I'm actually having a cold drink. Um, if you watch my videos, you will know that I drink Pepsi like it's going out of fashion, which is terrible, but it fuels my day. <laughs> so in my little Emma Bridgewater mug, this is the mother hen one. And I've got a little Pepsi in here to keep it going. A little dark Pepsi on the go. But I love this new little mug. I got this in the cell. And if you know me because you watch my videos, then you will know I'm addicted to Emma Bridgewater and I love it. Um, I've been collecting it quite, quite a long time now and I'm absolutely obsessed. And so there's a sound to be had on Emma Bridgewater. Rose is getting herself a mug. That's the, that's the story. Um, so in Home Bargains to, um, today, I didn't go Home Bargains today, but this is my Home Bargains haul for today. I went in there and I saw some really lovely pieces. Now, by no means this is a really large haul, but one of the pieces I wanted to get was something that I've been looking for for ages. So, I've been looking for a bath ball since I've done my bathroom up, probably about, about a year and a half, two years ago now. So, when we got it tiled, I really wanted to go for that kind of look where you have the lovely little bath balls at the end, nice little loofah. Bear in mind, I haven't shaved my legs in about four weeks. Let's just get it right. Isolation has made me super lazy, and I'm a mum, I can never be bothered to do them kind of things. But I'm gonna have a loofah, which means you know, if you're not shaving your legs, you're not loofering up here. But you know, that nice look for the bath board at the end. Most bath boards I was looking at were quite expensive. I did manage to find one on HM Home, but on HM Home they'd sold out quite quickly. I think it was very, it's very an insta thing, isn't it? But I think it will be nice to have all your nice soaps and stuff on. But I found this in Home Bargains, and this was $6.99, which I thought was absolutely amazing because I find for that kind of price, they're selling like the metal ones that they do in there or the very, very flimsy little um, thin wood ones. So the fact that this is quite a thick one and it's really quite deep as well, like the length, like the width of it, like from back to front. So the depth it is, isn't it? It's depth, even though it's width on there. Um, it's 15 centimetres. So even though it looks smaller probably on the camera, it is quite a lot, it's like half a ruler. Um, and it's 70 centimetres wide, which is perfect because when I put this on my bath, I've got a P-shaped bath, and the bath at the smaller end, it fits, but it also just about sits on the ledge in the P-bit, so, in the P-bit. <laughs> in the P-bit. That sounds really disgusting, it sounds like a communal shower, doesn't it? In the P-bit. Um, so yeah, so I've got this, and what's really nice is it's nice solid wood, so if it isn't your colour scheme, with 6 99 give it a little light sand and a spray paint. I think I might even do mine black as well, just to sort of go a little bit more with the colour schemes that I'm going in there. I thought this was really lovely, and for $6.99 I thought it was really good, because most of these are the cheap metal ones that you can get, places like B&M and stuff like that, and all the ones I was looking at online were literally like £20 upwards, so $6.99 I was like, I'm having that, that's going in my basket guys. So also while I was in there, I had to get some more hand soaps. Now I'm so impressed with these hand soaps, I know people might think, why are you getting so excited over a hand soap? But just let me tell you this. So even though it's only hand soap, I do like things to look pretty. So if it's on the kitchen side or on the bathroom sink, I do like it to look nice at the same time. And I love the look of sort of molten brown hand washes, but, and I think there's one as well, I think it's called Aesop, something like that. And it's really expensive, it's like £20 for a bottle of hand wash, which I do understand a lot of these things have a lot more like moisturizing benefits and stuff in them. But it's hand wash at the end of the day. If you're gonna use some nice hand cream, it's hand wash. So when I found these in the, home, what's I say, Panlo then? It's because I'm so used to doing Panlo right now. Um, home Bargains, I thought this was really, really good. So they come in really beautiful amber like type bottles. They look really expensive and they're really lovely. And it says made in England on the front. And when I was reading the side of it, it did give me a little bit of a giggle because it is only hand wash. And it says, Ashton and Moore are groundbreaking designers from the London School. I didn't know there was the London School. I'm going to look that up now on Google as well. The London School. It's like a design house place. But it says it brings elegance and sophistication, <laughs> and sophistication at the same time. Now it goes on quite a bit and it is only hand wash. But it does look really pretty. It's £1.49 and I thought if I'm going to be trying to take down my plastic use, some of the refills have just as much plastic. But with these bottles, they look so pretty, you probably could refill inside these. So £1.49, and this smells amazing. It smells like cocoa butter, so it's got a really like vanilla, coconutty smell. It smells like body butter, it's so, so nice. And you get 500 mils of that, and I just think it looks really, really pretty. It says Ashton and Moore on the front. And that's just gonna look posh in my bathroom. I really do think it will. <laughs> so anyone buy something and they think, 
that's gonna make me feel like a better person. And my little one pound fifty hand wash on a side that looks a little bit posh is just gonna make me feel good when I wash my hands. So also in there, they had these ones. Now I thought this was lovely because I've got a lot of pink in my kitchen and I think this is gonna look really nice on the kitchen side. I have a little wicker basket with some show brushes. <laughs> Hands up if you've got show brushes. You know like them wooden Victorian type scrubbing brushes that you never wash your pans with because you know you're gonna be using like a scourer but they look nice in the wicker basket. So this is gonna go in there with it but I am actually gonna use the hand wash. So this one was 99p and it was 750 ml and I thought, yeah, again, it's the same brand as companies that, Ashton & Moore. This smells a little bit like rose, but more like a fresh rose, not like an old fashioned type rose smell. So it's got like lemony tones to it as well. Smell, it sound like I'm like doing wine testing. It's all like lemony tones to it. You can really smell it on the palette, like you really can. It's 99p hand wash, it's just like a treat. It's like vintage. So it really does smell nice and I just thought it looks really pretty. Nice and pink on the side, oh girly, I love it. And also for the downstairs toilet, I have got a really beautiful like little hand wash pot, what do you say? So I just have to buy refills for that. So they do have the refill, the same soap pot you get in this one, comes in a larger bottle. Well actually that's a bit deceiving because you would say there was more in that but that's actually 500 ml as well. Trick of the eye. Um, I thought this was like, when I looked at it, I was like, that looks like Tiffany's. <laughs> are they selling Tiffany's hand washing, hand bargains? Are they? Are they? No, they're not. This is Ashton and Moore. This is from the London School of Hand Wash, guys. Get with the program. So, <laughs> I'm sorry, I made myself laugh. Right. Well, that was not nice. I licked my hair. So, on here as well, it says that this, this will reflect and enhance your lifestyle. <laughs> They have originated a unique offering for you. So just be prepared, guys. If you don't have this in your life, it's not going to reflect, reflect your life. Carex hand wash will not reflect, reflect you. But this will. So this was 89p. So this is pretty cheap reflection, guys. And this is exactly the same. So it's got that cocoa butter scent in there. I don't know how I get so hyped up on this. I think it's the Pepsi, guys. The Pepsi. I have to say this quite often. There is no gin in that Pepsi. But it's been a long day. Anyone knows during isolation, if you've been home and there's children, you're gonna go a little bit crazy. So that was 89p and that's the refill, which has just as much, if not more plastic. So these are really nice bottles, but 89p for that. And that will just refill that bottle quite a bit because it's quite a small one. Also, while I was in there, I picked up these. Now I think Home Bargains is the best place for stationery. So if your children are starting back up in school in September and you need to buy a new stationery, or like they go in secondary school, they have the most cutest, pretty looking stuff. It looks like Smiggle stuff, but it's not Smiggle prices. It's so much cheaper, really reasonable. And they sell a lot of planners. And I thought this was ideal really for the side of my fridge. So when my kids do go back to school, there will be, like, they do after-school clubs and stuff. They've got swimming and other clubs, like gymnastics. And I tend to forget sometimes what they actually, like, the extra stuff they need. So if Archie needs football boots on the same day, Millie needs a gymnastics skirt, something like that. So it's really good. It's a weekly planner. It's got Monday to Sunday on there. And it's got quite a big space. So where I've got a couple of kids, or three kids, there's a few, um, you can write bits under there, or if you need to pick things up, or you want to write your dinner plans and stuff like that. And it also has a really lovely little Dalmatian print on the outside. This was 99p and you can stick it on the fridge and it's really thick so you get loads of pages with this. And I just think they look really cute. And if you've got one of them very Insta-worthy offices, you know, you have them like lovely desks and it's all got the pretty stuff on it with the gold pens and stuff, this would fit in your scheme and it's only 99p. So I thought I'd get that. I thought that was really nice. And also while I was in there, I picked up a few little knick-knacky bits. So in the summer, I really don't like wearing too much makeup on my face because I feel like I get really sweaty. I've currently wearing a horn on my chin at the moment because it's got really bad. If you do watch my videos, you will know I do suffer with adult acne. I have put stories up on my Instagram before and I think some of you have been a little bit gobsmacked because my foundation covers a multitude of scenes. Um, but I'm quite happy with my skin. I go out most mornings, especially like if it's a school run or something like that, I will go out with no makeup on. The school mums at the gate will vouch me for that. Um, so... I'm not too worried, having spots, it is just what it is. It doesn't take away from you or your beauty or anything like that. But I do like to wear makeup because I feel like it's quite empowering. But in the summer, I feel like wearing too much makeup, it just makes my skin feel horrible. So I bought these little travel bottles. These are only 79p in there. And what I like about these travel bottles are a lot of them have the pump at the top. So you end up getting stuff stuck at the bottom of them. You cannot get them out. But these, you get three of these ones. How big are the sizes? They don't actually say how many mils they hold. But it must be the standard what you can take on a flight, how many you can have. 
Um, but they're the squishy bottles, which is ideal because you could put um, suntan lotion in these in your bag if you don't want to take a big bottle of suntan cream with you. If you want to have a top up for your kids if you're out on a day out, have a small bag or make your own hand sanitizer. I know people are making their own hand sanitizers or moisturizing cream for their hands. But what I do is, is I put in half moisturizer, which has got like an SPF in it. I always do it. At the minute, I'm using the vitamin E one from Superdrug. It's really cheap. It's lovely on my skin. It's not too heavy. And it seems to like smooth my wrinkles a little bit out on my forehead. To all the people that said I've had Botox on my forehead, like, won't be able to do that guys um, and then I put a little bit of my foundation in there and I tend to get a darker foundation than I would normally because it tends to lighten it a little bit and then I make my own like type BB cream because I know because I struggle with my skin sometimes I could get a BB cream or a CC cream and they could just be a bit too much for my skin my skin doesn't like too much change so if I stick to my regular foundation and moisturize what I'm using make my own BB cream and these are ideal for that for 79 for 79p I've got three of those I also got some Febreze. I always get the like sparkling bloom scent. So it's the one with the pink. It's not the original. At the moment, the dog is taking over. I don't know why. I think it's because it's so hot and he's sweaty. But I just, I'm being paranoid. I'm like, I can smell dog. So I thought I'd get some Febreze for the fabric chairs. I'm looking at getting a steam cleaner for the sofa. So you're nicking your little hair extensions. Yeah. <laughs> I bought me some hair extensions as well from, um, from there, 69p, how cute are these? Now, I know a lot of my friends and some of the mums at the school, they've let their kids put colour in their hair, but Millie has really, really fair hair, and I just know it will end up staining her hair, so I thought, these are 69p, and they're Schwarzkopf, and I got her some pink ones as well, and some blue, the pink one's like that sort of colour, and this one's aquamarine, and it's just like a little clipping extension, and they're quite long lengths, you can cut them down to the length, they get to have loads of fun, I'm gonna like give it a little example now, I might even keep this, it's like mermaid hair, sorry my hands, it's a bit tangled in, but really, really cute, or even if you want to do this, add a bit of colour, do the blonde ones, but, and then you just cut it down to the length that you want it, well, I quite like my aqua marine hair, what do you think though, do you like it, yeah. she's like, yeah, you look really cool mum, you didn't say that did you, but she was just like, yeah, <laughs> so they're 69p, and they've got purple as well, and I think it's ideal for kids, because then you haven't really got to dye their hair, um, Obviously, if you are, then fantastic. I'm just a bit nervous about it. The head and shoulders apparently really quite good for getting it out. I say apparently, I know, I used to be hairdresser, so I do know, I just don't like to push my opinions onto people. <laughs> so also while I was in there, I managed to pick up some of my Batiste. I always get the floral blush one. This is amazing, I'm so lazy. Normally when it's not isolation, any normal year, I would get every Friday a blow dry done. My hair is really, really curly and quite thick. Um, and I get a blow dry done on a Friday, and that tends to last me a week, to be completely honest. I just normally need a little freshen up round about Thursday sort of time. So I'll put a little bit of dry shampoo in it, gives it a little bit more volume, looks really nice, makes it smell a bit nicer. And yeah, floral fruity brush, and that was £2.99 for the big five 400ml bottle, and I thought that was quite good. Because places like Super Drug and Boots, sometimes it's not even that cheap when it's in on offer. So I got that. Also, if you did watch my video of my, my new dining chairs, I used these, so these were seconds and they had, sorry guys, got a low battery. They had big black scuffs on them, but I thought I would use these. So these are the dupes of like the flash erase away sponges. They are amazing, they come in a pack of two. You put a little bit of water on them and you can rub off any scuffs on the wall or anything. It don't leave any marks. And these are 99p, they are amazing. They're for floors, baths and sinks, taps. You ever had nail varnish on and sort of like scraped onto your bath and you end up getting like red mark or something from your nail varnish. It just makes everything come off, so it's amazing. 99 piece, I did get two packs of them, but I done all my chairs and every single mark came out of my chairs. I also picked up these as well. It is salad season, summer is salad season. Well, it's salad and cake for me, but salad season. So for 79p, I picked up these little kitchen value food bag clips. You get a pack of 18, they're in really lovely colors. You get different sizes, like a small, medium and a large. And they're just ideal, stops your bags of lettuce and stuff going off, you just clip them up at the end. I did just use like pegs and like elastic bands, but it's hard work with the elastic bands, keep unwinding it. And with the pegs, sometimes they come off and I shove it all into like the salad box at the bottom, they sort of come off anyway. So I thought I'd get those. And also I wanted to quickly share with you as well, these are from Asda, but I just thought these were really cute. At the moment, I'm finding queuing up is just like, you can't run anywhere just quickly for five minutes. And I know that most people won't be having birthday parties and stuff like that, but some of my friends' little children and stuff, they're having birthdays, I still want to get them a little gift and drop it off. Um, drop it outside to them. 
And at the minute, they've got three for three pound on their cards and their wrapping paper. And they've got the most beautiful little cards like, and they've got like, all like glitter on them and stuff. Really, really cute with little gold envelopes. I've got three of those. And three for three pound on the wrapping paper. Oh, how many meters do you get of this? Three meter gift wrap. So it's about Card Factory prices. I feel like Card Factory haven't changed their patterns in ages. So I do love it. It's all really pretty, but I just thought, look, blush pink with gold spots blush pink with silver stripes and they've got like this really lovely tropical eucalyptus print with gold stuff and fern like sage green so they're one pound fifty each or three for three pound and i just thought these are really cute for like little girls gifts and stuff just thought that was really pretty so i thought i'd show you them because i love getting a little bargain i know you do as well so this was my little home bargains haul by no means was it a big one or an impressive one but you know it's been isolation i've done a few what are you doing are you biting your bed now no. Seems like every time I'm on the camera, he's like chewing something or biting something. At the minute, he's currently chewing at his wicker bed, which I'm going to stop him from doing because if he swallows it, he'll probably get a bad belly from it. But I've been Rosie Henshaw. If you do like this video and you'd like to subscribe, please do. It's completely free to do so. And if you do press the notification bell, that will cut you up. That will cut you up. That will, <laughs> that will cup you up. That won't cup you up. I'm not going to scoop you up in a little cup. That will keep you up to date when my videos are. It will give you a little notification and uh, hence why it's the notification bell and um, don't forget to give it a like and thank you again for all the lovely comments it's really lovely it really does mean a lot so i've been rosie henshaw take care see you later bye